Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range today doing a little bit of shooting, a little bit of plinking, and uh, mosquitoes are out, so if I seem a little fidgety from that, uh, don't pay any attention to that. But uh, what I'm doing today is uh, testing out some new pellets. Um, I've seen these ones, a lot of people doing reviews on them, kind of all the buzz about them. So I figured I would uh, finally go ahead and break down and get some. But uh, what I have here is these JTS dead center pellets. And these ones, so these ones are the 22 grain pellets. And then I also have the 16.08 green pellets. So we're going to go ahead and test these out in my Air Venturi Avenger. <clears throat> 22 caliber, obviously. <clears throat> and then we're going to also uh, compare them to just some plain old Crossman Premier hollow points to see if they are actually really worth all the hype. <laughs> so... Uh, I'll start out with the 16 green ones. I'm shooting 50 yards here. Tried them at uh, 25 yards, but this gun, even with Crossman Premier hollow points at 25 yards is just one big ragged hole, so <clears throat> I didn't think that was much of a challenge for this gun so we're going to stretch it out to 50 yards we'll do uh so this, this gun's got plenty of air we'll do two for a 10 shot group with each one and uh then we'll compare them Oop, went in upside down there's some good looking pellets that's for sure uh nice and clean don't see any mold lines on them those 22s are pretty long. They do fit in the magazine though, so but, uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, make sure my camera is running here. Yep. Okay. All right, so I have this zeroed at 25, so I, with the Crossman Premier hollow points, I just have to hold like half a line in my my reticle here, I've got a bullet drop compensation lines in the reticle, so I have to hold like half a line. Basically my main bar of, of my uh, reticle is at the top of the bullseye. And that's actually shooting a little higher, that's weird. I figured uh, 16 green would have a little more drop than the 14.3s. I haven't zeroed this gun with these pellets, so. That's pretty impressive so far. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's 50 yards, folks. Fifty yards, one ragged hole. <laughs> Very nice. Let's keep going. That was only five shots. We're gonna do all ten. Ugh. Same hole. Yep. Wow. From my experience, this is a really good shooting gun at 50 yards, but it never does that with Crossman Premier Hollow, Premier hollow Points. I had to get one flyer out of the groove, out of the ragged hole there. That stinks. Wow. 
All right, so that was the 16 green ones. Set those aside for a minute. Let's... Now these ones are 22s. I would expect that these ones would at least have a little bit of drop. So I had this gun almost fully topped off. It does have a regulator, so regulators run in about 2,000, I think. Yeah, right around 2,000. And uh, had had a little over four in it when I started, so. <clears throat> Such a sweet gun, though. <laughs> I have mine all decked out with buck rail accessories, which is, which are really nice, but I think I might get myself an Avenger with the wood stock too. I, you know how I love my walnut and steel, <laughs> but all right. So here goes the 22 green pellets. Let's go to the upper right. All right a little bit of drop, not much. Same hole. <laughs> Same hole. I gotta try this thing with some slugs. I don't even think I have any 22 caliber slugs. I got 25 caliber slugs. Wow. Holy smokes. Jeepers. Gotta be the last one, I think. Yep. That. is impressive. I'm calling that, I'll put it in the sub MOA app and put it up here for you guys to see, but I'm calling that one's probably right around a three quarter inch group. 10 shots and three quarters of an inch is pretty, <laughs> for, for a pellet gun at 50 yards. That's pretty outstanding. Maybe these, uh, so I'm loading up some Crossman Premier Hollow Points here just to have a reference group. It does, it does do well with these. I don't, expect, I don't expect it to do that, but it does do well with these. I shot the Fly Swatter Challenge with this gun 25 yards using these Crossman Premier Hollow Points, and I got a score of 17, so. And most of the other ones were so close, it was just splitting hairs, not counting them, so. But, uh, all right, let's see what we can do with these Crossmans. About the same point of impact as the uh, 16 green J JTSs. Yeah, 
Maybe I'm onto something with this gun like in these heavy pellets though. It's not a terrible group, but it is not one ragged hole like, well, except for the one, we had one flyer with the 16 greens. Still doing fine on air, well over 3,000, so. That is nothing to sneeze at either. <laughs> That's really good, but oh boy. One more. Yeah, just about made it one ragged hole. <laughs> oh my God, let's see. Yeah, that's it. That, this gun is seriously impressive. Probably the nicest budget friendly uh, gun that I've had uh, so far. Um, Got so many others that I like. I like the Beeman, I like the Barra. The Barra shoots great. But man, this thing is lights out. Air Venturi Avenger, under $400 regulated. 4350 fill. <laughs> what a nice, what a nice combo. Got the UUQ 6 to 24 on top. Running at about 18 power. Don't need too much more than that. It, uh, I, I like 16 to 18 for 50 yards. I take it down to 9 for 25. I might try this gun out to 100, not on this video, but uh, I definitely think I'll give it a try uh, and see how we, we do. But uh, that's some amazing shooting right there. Uh, with all of them, really, but the, uh, the 22 greens is just the best group I've shot with this gun yet, for sure. So, anyway, I guess these JTSs are worth uh, <laughs> the little extra, a lot of extra. They're definitely a premium pellet. Um, a tin of 200 costs as much. Well, they're they're they're, they're a bunch. So, but uh, can't argue with those results. Air Venturi Avenger. Hope you guys liked the video. Until next time, have a great day.